All right, I'll share with you uh, an update about my wife. And uh, the reason why I'll share it is there's a learning, a lesson in this which will help you. So watch the video and let me know your thoughts. Okay? Uh, if you have been following my channel, you know what happened, the ups and downs. And, you know, I keep it transparent. I don't uh, try to portray larger than life. I keep it real. So after our ups and downs had happened and things got ironed out, I told my wife very clearly, I'm not going to send you money as long as you're on holiday. I want you to earn your own. And so what my wife did was, she, the money that I had sent her before, uh, she stopped spending like crazy. And she decided to purchase a few secondhand clothes. Okay. And she purchased a few secondhand clothes and you can buy as per kg or whatever. There are a lot of these wholesalers. And then after you purchase them uh, per weight, each one you just check. Okay. Like you, you can tell the wholesale seller, I, I'm looking at clothes for a woman, uh, you know, age group of so-and-so slim or whatever, or I'm looking for children's clothes, five to nine years old or boys or girls or whatever. And they'll sort it out accordingly and sell you based on weight. And then after you receive it, it's your luck, whatever you get. You sort out, you know, the ones you feel uh, can be redeemed or can be sold. And the ones that need a little bit of extra uh, work, you stitch things and you try to make it good and you sell it. And one of the key reasons why they'll not give you crap is because, you know, they don't want, uh, you know, a bad reputation among people and for them to lose business. So they give decent clothes. So my wife ordered some of these clothes and uh, she decided that she would sell them. What she used to do before, she used to sell online uh, on Facebook. There are Facebook groups dedicated to this. Or she would, you know, sell outside her house on the road. She would put a tent like an umbrella. And then because business was good initially, like the first day itself, she got a thousand bucks. And she was like, oh, I made thousand. I was like, oh, very good, very good. Finally, you're doing it. So then she decided, okay, I will do it also on Facebook and I will do it also on the market. There's a fruit and vegetable market where you can open in a particular location and uh, for Thai citizens, it's for free. So uh, she decided, uh, you know, but if you open in a marketplace specifically, you have to pay rent for that place. So she would open on the road, roadside, which was for free, put all the clothes on a rope, uh, on hangers and all that and sell. So the first day, thousand, second day, 800, third day, 750, fourth day, 500, then 700. So it kept going up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, good. And she was happy. However, you know, initially, yes, you'll make a lot of money. But then, if you're in the same place, people get used to it, right? That's why when a restaurant open, opens new, many people come. It's houseful. But subsequently, it goes down. And if you have any experience in business, you'll know that after the honeymoon phase is over, the first initial excitement, then getting customers is a big thing. Retaining customers is even harder. So very soon from an average of 1,000, it went to 800, then it went to 500, went to 200. And then she even started experiencing days where there were zero sales. Okay. And then one fine day before she knew it, you know, she bought a tent and she had set it up. It was foldable. That broke. Now, after that broke, now she had to get it repaired. And the guy who helped her set it up, he was not available. So now she didn't have even a tent. And so she couldn't sell. So she tried selling without a tent or putting some, you know, makeshift curtain or something under a tree. Okay. And then one fine day she had to go, uh, she fell sick, yes. And she was sick for seven, eight days 
almost two weeks. Okay, this is the first time she got sick in a long time. And then lately she had to go to a dentist and get her wisdom tooth removed. And that made her unwell. Okay, and then the baby got sick and then she couldn't uh, do her work. And so what happens is with all these challenges and all these headaches, her revenue got down to zero. Like from the last couple of days, I've been asking her, how much did you earn? What did you earn? It has been zero, no money. And it came down to such a point where uh, she even told me, um, you know, can you send some money uh, for baby and me? Baby, I said, fine, but you know, you have to learn to manage. You're on a holiday. Okay, extended holiday, you're doing what you like. So I've told you, you have to manage your own expense. If tomorrow you are by yourself and you are a salaried person and you took an extended holiday, they're not going to pay you extra for uh, taking extended holiday. So you have to manage your expense. And she kept quiet. So for the baby, I'm sending all this stuff. And yes, when she went to the hospital, all that, that is my responsibility. I send her the money for, I told her, make sure your health is okay. So she's a little upset. So now, what, what, why am I sharing this with you? Because today when I had the conversation is the lesson I, which I gave her, I'm giving you. Sometimes I sound very preachy, I know. So when my wife said she earned zero. So I said, do you see how hard it is to earn money? I told her, do you, do you see how hard it is to earn money? And how easy it is to spend money? Spending is damn easy. And why I reminded her is because she was taking money from my bank account and distributing it to people who are asking her, please help me, friends and all that. And I said, now, if anyone asks you, are you going to distribute money? She kept quiet. She was very irritated because I bought up the same old thing. I'm a guy who doesn't forget. So I told her, now, can you lend money to others? No, she could not. She cannot. In fact, she she's finding it hard to even pay her own bills. And I want her to go through that. I'm still not going to send her money because she is living a life where she wants to enjoy. That is my mistake. I made life so easy. It went to her head where she felt like every day. I told you, no, my mistake. She used to come, come to my wallet, come to my room. And the wallet was there. She used to take two, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, go. She, thankfully, she was not spending on unnecessary stuff, but overspending on necessary stuff. Like, you know, over, like we have 50 toothpaste, 20 clothes, uh, air freshening liquid, uh, fruits and vegetables, which will last for one month. Why? Because impulse shopping, toys, which will fill nine buckets of the thing for kids and shoes. What? I remember we had literally for my daughter, 56 pairs of shoes, 56, all second and thankfully not expensive ones but you see the waste and even i'm to blame i also did the same thing hoarding but in my case i was earning in her case she was not earning and she was only spending so the only way to learn was do your own thing and see when you start earning now that's where you realize how difficult it is to earn money she started business. The first day was what? Boom! Business was very good. Thousand bucks. She sold so many stuff. And she was like, ah, I'm going to open. I'm sure in her head she was like, I'll open branches and I'll have, take out a shop. And she must have been planning that she's going to open a chain of stores. But business went down and down and down and down. And obviously people are not going to buy from you every day. And then challenges started to prop up because other competitors are there. She never factored in breakdown, like you have a car, breakdown of the car, her tent broke. She never factored that. She has to buy a new one for that money will go, which I'm not going to give her. 
Then she got sick, which she never factored. When you're sick, you don't work, you don't earn. Then the baby is sick. You have to take care of the baby and run the business. She was not able to do it. And now, she doesn't have excess money to blow. And because I will not send money for her to have easy life, she'll have to learn to live simple. Spend only what is required. Live within her means. Now, does that mean I've totally abandoned them? No. I keep sending boxes of chips, crisps, snacks, all that for the baby. She, I'm sure she also enjoys some of them. You know, before she used to never touch all this. She was like, I don't like it. When I used to literally say, come, let's eat outside. A restaurant of my choice. No, I don't want. I'll go to my restaurant. Okay. Now she's telling me, oh, I miss your restaurants. Where I used to take her. Why? Because there she doesn't have that option. You know, it's very easy to spend money. That is why youngsters online, this 20-year-old, 18-year-old, who write big, big things, give free advice, lecture other people, try to think they're equal to me. Uh, and put them in their place. Very simple, I tell them, earn $100 a day, show me, then you'll earn my respect. You can't earn, forget $100, you can't take care of your own expense. You need to go to mummy and daddy and you're demanding respect. Freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Boss, when you can't earn your own livelihood, when you can't manage your own expense, what the fuck are you talking about? Equal rights and this and that. In the olden days that I was there, you had to earn your place at the table. You had to earn respect. And the only way you would earn respect is work. Earn your money. My wife has still two more months. She is on holiday. I'm not going to give her money to blow and spend. Okay, medical fine, food for the baby, fine, rest you work, your mom is there, help her, sell some things, earn some money, you will come to know the value of money, here when she has to be, my mistake, once again, whatever she wanted, wallet was open, so she used to call me, you are my ATM, T T T T T. she used to make, until one day I got pissed off with that comparison, I said, the fuck are you talking, ATM, found it very derogatory, I work hard, I work very hard, for every penny that I make, fine, if you're earning your own, and you're spending your money the way you wish, totally fine, you don't earn anything, but, and you're living on other people's expense. Anyway, she has two more months. I'm sure she will experience what reality is. She'll come to know how tough life is. And uh, I hope when she comes back, she's a much better person. Because remember, she's my family. She is the person who, is, who I'm working hard and I'm saving and once I die, I'm not going to take all this to my grave. It's all going to be for her and the baby. So, hey doggy, following me. So, I need her to value what she has. It's like, you know, training a child, your own kid. <laughs> they only learn when life is not easy. My, my daughter used to care a damn about a lot of things, about eating uh, you know, peanut butter sandwich jam. Ah, I don't like this. I don't like. Now she actually asks me, Papa, send me peanut butter. Papa, send me jam. Send me cheese. I want to taste. Before I say, Come, let's go eat a burger or let's go eat a french fry. No, I don't want. I want to see cartoon because she used to get whatever she likes. No, stomach was full. Now, over oh, there, she has to eat simple rice, sticky rice with whatever is cooked in the family. No. <laughs> My daughter in Thai tells me, Papa, I want to eat burger, I want to eat french fry, I want to do this, I want that. 
I feel sad sometimes, but like, no, this is how she will learn. She will learn the value of money. She'll learn the value of what was provided to her. She'll not take it for granted. That's the only way to learn and grow. And my wife's business, let her continue with her own limitations, her own earnings. I'm not going to give her. I feel, I'm being honest with you, sometimes really feel impulsive, like, I'll just buy for her. I'll just send her the money. It's okay. Fuck it. Let me support her. But then she'll not learn. I want her to, she has an inventory now. Sell the inventory. Let's see how do you manage. And because she knows that that is her money, now she'll not waste it. Remember, this is the same husband who bought her the latest Samsung Ultra and Samsung this and that. And she is to not respect it. Today when she has, which I took away from her because she was uh, using it not to, not to work better, but rather to watch movies and relax and be lazy. So I took it away. Now she has the old uh, one phone or whatever, one plus, which is a good phone. And even my baby, I've not given her the tablet before she used to sit and watch. Now she has to manage like a simple person, the same phone she has to give her, same phone she has to take back. Before she had two, three phones, hmm. courtesy me. So it's a good thing, they're back to their roots. That's how they learn. And the purpose and point of this is, I need them when they come back to be better human beings. Not just for me, for us, and for especially for her and the baby's growth. See, if you don't go through struggle, no, you'll not grow, man. If you don't suffer, you'll not appreciate life. If life is just a bed of roses and you get everything easy, it's like having these celebrity children. Their parents are rich, so they have everything. You think they value money, they value hard work, they value... Her. That's why you'll see. Best example, see Michael Jordan's child. Michael Jordan was... Uh, uh, no, no, sorry, Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson... He was a legend in the basketball court. Just Google search his son. You will see what a disaster his son has become. It's a shame. Huh? Shame. Even Jackie Chang. See the greatness that he had. See what his son has become. In fact, look at Tom Hanks. Just check Tom Hanks, what he was. Check his son. If you give them an easy life, no? they end up being disasters. And I don't want my daughter to become another one of those. So, go back to simplicity, to your roots. Evaluate who you are. Come back as a better human being. So, and it happens to me also. It happens to all of us. Anyway, I hope this video gave you some insights into life and makes you a better person. I'm just sharing with you not to complain or anything, but rather to you know, share these lessons of life so that even you can become better. All right. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Agree, disagree. Feel free. All right. You guys take care. This is me signing off. Ciao.